What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Bobby Fye here for my five and five. We're going to talk through some general plays on tonight's slate. I'm trying to use the five and fives rather than just giving you five baseball names because I feel like that's not really that helpful. I want to give you some options of stacks, some options in price tiers and all that, et cetera. I also do want to point out if you go to TrueDFS.com and you're a member, I have all my core plays listed up. I have all of my lineup builds early in the day, which tend to be pretty similar to later in the day, especially for baseball, but I've got it for basketball and NBA. I've got all my bets of the day, which my NBA bets this year has absolutely been out of control at over 75% on the season in the playoffs so far, 88%. Um, including the over-unders and whatnot. So I would suggest you guys check that out. Also really excited to have the partnership with Saber Sims. Please check out our homepage. We did a video explaining how to, how to basically beat MLB DFS or how to use uh, Saber Sim for MLB True DFS uh, through True DFS. And if you join uh, Saber Sim through True DFS, which were basically a very similar price, I think we're a few dollars more than they are, but you're getting all of my top, your, all of my core plays, all of uh, Jake Rohde 51's core plays. You get all of Sheets' is Sheets, best projections in the industry to go along with Saber Sims. We average it out and we can, you, you know, there's a million ways to sort it, a million ways to go through it. We go through it all in the video. It's a really, really exciting partnership and we would suggest you guys sign up soon. Um, I know at some point Saber Sim is going to have to raise the pricing, but for right now, if you sign up, you'll be grandfathered in and it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. If you have any interest in an optimizer of any sort, we believe this is the best one in the industry, especially combining TrueDFS's team with the people at Saber Sim. All right, having said that, let's get into today's slate. Uh, we've got on DraftKings, uh, my top pitchers in order. Montas, Kershaw, Nola, Manaya. I really wanted to get away from Kershaw and the chalk, but I am finding that it's a little too easy to get him in. I do love Nola as a pivot, or you could play those two together. And I like Manaya quite a bit, but I think Nola taking a shot on him against a weak Colorado team, even in Colorado, I just think it's a really, really smart move to get the low ownership. And because I like Philly stack so much, I need to try and find a way to get a little different. So Nola may end up being my key guy to try to get different. You can see I've got him third on FanDuel. I like Montas. Um, again, he's a little more expensive over on FanDuel. I think he's still an awesome option. Don't mind if you want to go up, up to Kershaw either or to Nola. Um, but I love spending down for Garcia. The guy who I didn't list here is Eric Lauer and his velocity has been up going back to spring training from last year. Um, he's really looking like a better pitcher. So you can include him on your list. I just was trying to avoid him at what I thought would be somewhat chalky ownership and guys I just liked a little bit better around him. On the, as far as the stacks go, I have it Philly, LA, San Diego, Milwaukee on DraftKings. Really easy to get Philly in depending on who they end up playing. We, we, we should have cheap options in Camargo, maybe Musliotti, just to, just to sort of fill out that stack. And I think it's an interesting way to go. One thing you can try to do to get different because the slate may play a little small because of all the weather concerns. You can try and do some 3 3 twos, some 4 4 2 twos, 4 3 ones, 4 2 one ones. I think this is a better slate for that. So maybe not going to a full five man Philly stack, but keeping it somewhere between two and four might be a good way to go. On FanDuel, I really like Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee is obviously in play on DraftKings, but they just sort of fit a little bit easier and made more sense. I had ways I could get really different with the stack while playing Philly and spending up a pitcher if I wanted to, or playing the Dodgers along with Milwaukee. I know it's not going to be totally off the wall, but it, will, it might be a little bit if you play Tellez and Narvaez together, which is just one, one sort of thing I like to do sometimes and locks up your, your first base and your utility spot. But at the same time, you get the chance to get exposure to a game in a way that you're stacking that no one else is really doing. So I really like that option. Uh, Philly, obviously, a great stack in Colorado today, followed by the Dodgers and by Oakland. Uh, Oakland's a team I, I might get on a little bit more as the day goes on. I also am considering some one-offs from Baltimore. Uh, on DraftKings, I have it Harper, Real Muto, Betts, Trey Turner in terms of my favorite spend-ups. On FanDuel, I have it Harper, Castellanos, Trey Turner, Betts. Uh, again, a little easier to get things in on FanDuel for me. Uh, it's pretty easy on DraftKings as well, but just uh, just those are those are the favorite guys who I'm, I'm choosing to spend up for tonight. In the lower tier, I want to go Camargo, Bellinger, Tellez, Fam, Voigt. And on FanDuel, it is Tellez, Murphy, Noose, uh, and Didi Gregorius. Now, Didi is a great play for me on DraftKings. I think he's going to be low owned, but he's really cheap on FanDuel, so it's kind of hard not to keep him in. I think I'd actually play him in cash on FanDuel, whereas on DraftKings, I think you're going to actually get him at low ownership. So I kind of like the idea of using Didi on DraftKings more than FanDuel. Uh, I will probably have exposure to both. In the mid-tier, mid-high tier, I should say, uh, Muncie, Didi, Machado, and Bryant are my favorites in that order on DraftKings. And on FanDuel, I have it as Schwarber, Adamas, Yelich. Um, I do like getting exposure to that Milwaukee game. And those, 
that's that the Adamas and Yelich are, are cheaper than Schwarber is obviously, but I think that they're all reasonable enough to where they should be fairly significant core plays. I do want to also encourage you guys to check out what I consider also be one of the best, if not the best discord in the industry. We are very lively. We have a lot going on. There's a lot of back and forth, a lot of game theory, a lot of strategy. And I think it's a really, really good opportunity to try and try and get in on this. So let's make some money together to, to, together today, guys. Check out TrueDFS.com. We've revamped the site. We partnered with SaberSim. It's a wonderful site now. And I think we're really having uh, a lot of offerings that other sites are charging more for and that I think we have even a little more to offer, including uh, specifically some of those early builds, which are exactly who I'm playing as of the, the morning every day. And you get an idea of exactly what I'm going to do. A couple of those lineups have won the big one this year in, in the NBA. So I would encourage you guys to check that out. Anyway, again, any questions, you can hit us up in our Discord chat. I will attach it to the video and let's make some money today, guys. Good luck to everybody.